good morning students we are continuing with the lesson uh, this is chapter 2 price of gandhi and freedom of gandhi of india uh, in the last class we studied about non cooperation movement now here we will study about simon commission what is this simon commission uh, that simon commission started in 1928 we uh, we studied about in the last class about roll attack or jallianwala bagh massacre uh, which happened in the year 1919 after those tragic incident in uh, 1919 one new government of act was passed and according to new government act of 1919 some reforms was introduced and to look to enquire about those reforms were going in india or not British government sent seven members to India in 1928. That incident happened in 1928. Seven members were sent to India by British government. Why they had sent seven members in order to inquire the reform or whatever introduced as the government of India act was done or not in India. But what happened in that seven members? Among that seven members, no Indian members were there. Among that seven members. So when Indian came to know that there were no no Indian members, Indian Congress members boycotted Simon Commission. They gave slogan Simon Go Back. And under the leadership of Lala Lajpat Rai, they protested against Simon Commission. Next, we will look to the next topic that is. Civil disobedience movement of 1930-34. So this civil disobedience movement is also related with uh, Simon Commission. So if we see the cause of civil disobedience movement, we can we can see that formation of Simon Commission. Indian people got um, angry with British government when they saw there were no no any Indian in the Simon Commission. Meanwhile, Motilal Nehru prepared Indian constitution and pressurized the government to accept. So, pressurized means Motilal Nehru, uh, he, okay, that he prepared, he took the responsibility of drafting committee and prepared Indian constitution and put pressure on the government to accept that constitution and give dominion status to India. In Calcutta session in 1928, one British government start they, that Indian will start civil disobedience movement if they did not do not grant dominion status. And what was their main goal? Main goal of Indian is Purna Swaraj or complete independence. Along with it, some list of demands were given to Lord Irene by Mahatma Gandhi. What were those list of demands? Those list of demands were prohibition of the use of intoxicant, changes in ratio of rupees and sterling, reduction of rate of land revenue, abolition of salt tax, reduction of military expenditure, reduction of expenditure on civil administration, imposition of custom duty and foreign clothes, acceptance of postal reservation bill, Abolition of Crime Investigation Department and release of all political prisoners. These are some of the demands forwarded to Mahatma Gandhi. And if those demands were not com completed, civil disobedience, Mahatma Gandhi is going to launch. And that civil disobedience was launched on a uh, movement started from 1930 onwards with the famous Salt Satyagraha. What is this Salt Satyagraha? It was uh, we know the Dandi March, which started in 12 March 1930. On foot, Mahatma Gandhi, along with his followers, they walked for 25 days. 385 kilometers they walked for 25 days and reached on 6 April 1930 Sabarmati. Here they protest uh, the famous salt law, the protest against salt law. How do you, how protest was done by making salt himself? This movement spread other parts of the country. So this was the topic of civil disobedience movement. Next class we will go to the next topic. Thank you.